And now to an update on a horrible story in the suburbs. A young woman found dead in a suburban hotel. CBS 2 Sandra Torres is live in Rosemont with the new developments. Sandra. Well, Erica, there are a few developments at this hour. First, take a look behind me. As you can see, a group of activists have gathered in front of the Crown Plaza Hotel. They continue to press for answers. And just a few minutes ago, I got off the phone with the spokesperson for the mayor's office. He tells me Rosemont police are going to show Kanika Jenkins' mother surveillance video from inside the Crown Plaza Hotel. Detectives have 30 hours of video to work with, but they will not release this video to the public because they don't want to compromise the investigation. I think everybody wants to know what happened. Nearly four days after Kanika Jenkins was found dead in a walk-in freezer at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont, Mayor Brad Stevens addresses the death investigation. Well, it's a horrible tragedy no matter which way it ends up. Mayor Stevens says federal agencies are assisting the police department, especially after the case took on a life of its own on social media. Certain arms of the FBI, certain um, specialty agencies that, that are able to access certain records, um, whether it's cell phones and internet, but again, it, that all takes time. Rosemont police are still trying to determine how Kanika ended up in the walk-in freezer after a party with friends on the hotel's ninth floor. Yet videos posted online are driving speculation nationwide. That's unfortunate that some of that stuff is, is convoluting the investigation because all those leads have got to be followed up on. But community activists who are pressing police for answers say social media is helping the case. I'm actually proud that it has uh, blown up to the proportion that it did and that more people are aware. Situations and incidents like this will go swept under the rug. It's important that we come and apply this type of pressure. Live in Rosemont, Sandra Torres, CBS 2 News. Rob. All right, Sandra, thank you.